Hi, my name is Chris Hart, I'm a cartoonist. And one of the most common questions I get on my YouTube channel is what kind of pencil do I use? Well, I use a bunch of them. So I wanna go through some art supplies with you today, give you some suggestions. Uh, first, I use sometimes a colored pencil. This one is a Derwent Studio Pencil. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing the word Derwent right because I, I never really talk about colored pencils uh, in conversation. It doesn't usually come up, but this is what it's called, Derwent Pencil. And I use it for guidelines mainly. Here I'm gonna do an eye for you cartoony eye. And just rough it out a little bit. Here's the nose. Like so. I'll erase a little bit down here. And these don't erase that well. It's not really for erasing, it's for guidelines. That's just so something to keep in mind. Um, now, once I finish with that, you could have, uh, I go to a, a Statler pencil. This is an F. An F is sort of a, uh, a light grade, but it makes the dark line too if you press hard. So it's good for shading uh, and also for some detailed work. Uh, it's, it's, so it's sort of a hard lead. And here's where you can tell the grade, right up here. Here it says F. If you want to go a little softer, and softer means it's, it's a harder, my so softer means it's darker. It makes a darker line, which is great and it feels good, but it doesn't erase as easily. So you make a trade-off. You have to be kind of sure you know what you're, what you're after. And here we're going to add a pupil for the eye. Like that. And I'll just add a little darkness here, that line, a little thickness. And the eyelid here. Thicken up the eyebrow, like so. Now, if you really want to go crazy, you use this Derwent Studio Ivory Black um, colored pencil. And, and look how different it, it is. It, it, just, it goes really, really dark. I use these for demonstrations mainly. And sometimes I use it in my artwork also. It really, really goes nicely dark, but it doesn't give you as many shades of gray as a regular pencil does, as the H, HB pencil. HB was that, was that uh, over here? Yeah, HB is that darker line, like so. This erases easily, the F, see? HB, not quite as easily. All right, so we'll uh, come down here, thicken this up, and some more thickness, a little darkness, the eyebrow. Thicker, smoother line. This is a very smooth line, this uh, colored pencil, the, the uh, black colored pencil. And now for here, we'll go back to that H pencil. Here's that H, I mean, sorry, the F pencil, because it makes a nice shade of gray. The black really can't make that shade of gray, the black colored pencil. It just doesn't, doesn't seem to work out like that, not for me at least. So we'll go here and color that in, like so. Now I'm going to even darken this a little more, darken this more, add a little bit of shadow here. And now what do we do about the highlight for the eye? Well, we could try to erase and put a little highlight there, a little white area, but that gets very, very tedious. Um, what I'm going to show you is we use this the fine point brush. I like to use Pro White, you could use whatever is appropriate for you. A little dab of this, instead of using it, using it to correct drawings, you could also use it to add highlights. And I like to add a little highlight that crosses over from the pupil into the iris, like so. And then a small little dab right here, sort of at a diagonal that's just inside the pupil. Now when you finish with that, you bring your, your water over, you have to do that right away, otherwise it'll dry and destroy your brush. Have a little paper towel to dry it on. Back in, close it up, and you are good to go. If you want to add a few little eyelashes at the bottom here, you do that too. Well, I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you next time. 
thank you for uh, visiting my YouTube channel and I have new YouTube videos posted every Friday. I hope you'll join us. I hope you'll look out for it because we learn something new. We have some fun every week. Thanks. See you then.